Good afternoon, UDA. I'm Fiona Dager. And I'm Mackenzie Lentz, and we are reporting for TNN Trojan News Network. Today's quote of the day is, Be yourself because everyone else is already taken. Wow, how inspirational. Yes, it is. <laughs> Just an FYI, there is no tailgate breakfast tomorrow morning. The next tailgate will be Friday, October 23rd for our next home game. The votes are in for this year's senior superlatives. Now let's go check out our class of 2016 superlatives. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Damn. No, all the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place Ah. Uh. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again Detention this week will be held in Mrs. Kasner's room, room 107. Math tutoring today after school is canceled due to a math department meeting. Any student wanting to play a winter sport should sign up in the athletic office. Wow, I can't believe it's already time to I sign know. up for winter sports. Between now and October 2nd, you can get the lowest price on a personalized yearbook. If you are an underclassman, please see Mrs. Minnick to order if you plan on doing the candle fundraiser to help pay for your yearbook. Otherwise, orders can be placed online at www.jostens.com yearbooks. Last summer, Mrs. Seitz and Mrs. Osanga attended the Organ Tissue Donation Awareness Conference in Penn State. From this conference, they were able to acquire 2,500 grant for our district and the UDA Save a Life group in order to raise awareness for organ donation. As part of the UDA Save a Life kickoff to raise awareness for organ donation, there will be a t-shirt slogan contest. Find your inner creativity and develop a slogan that will tug at people's heartstrings. The top slogan will win a free t-shirt and a $25 gift card to the local business of their choice. Turn your slogan ideas into Mrs. Seitz or Mrs. Osanga by Friday, October 2nd. The Life Skill class is having a Coats for Kids coat drive. Donations of new or gently used clean coats, hats, and gloves will be accepted up till Friday, October 30th. Please help keep someone warm this year by bringing in your used coats. A college representative from Albright College will be here on Wednesday, September 30th. All interested students should sign up in the guidance office to learn more about that school. Attention senior class, just a reminder to sell, sell, sell those subs and pizza orders. The money and class dues are due Wednesday, October 1st. And attention all FBLA members, please remember to pay your organization dues by the end of the day tomorrow. And that is a $30 fee if you were wondering. And if you have any questions, please see Mrs. Kasner. Any students who are interested in going to Lock Haven's NanoScience Open House on Friday, October 30th, please see Mr. Smeltz ASAP. Juniors and seniors will have first priority, and there will be a small fee for bus or van, approximately $15. See Mr. Smeltz for more information. The Elizabethville Area Volunteer Committee is in need of banner holders for the Elizabethville Halloween Parade. Any National Honor Society student or school group who might need volunteer opportunities should see Mr. Smeltz for more information. They are in need of 10 students to carry lightweight banners. The parade is scheduled for Monday, October 26th at 7 p.m. Rain day is Tuesday, October 27th at 7 p.m. 
See Mr. Smeltz if you would like to help out. This will count for NHS service hours. Today is This Week in History. Now let's go over to Carolyn to hear some interesting facts. <laughs> Here's a look at This Week in History. On September 21, 1780, during the Revolutionary War, American General Benedict Arnold commits treason when he meets with a British major to hand West Point over to the British. What a traitor. On September 22, 1862, President Abraham Lincoln issues the Emancipation Proclamation, demanding the freeing of more than 3 million African American slaves in the U.S. The Civil War now becomes a crusade to end slavery. On September 23, 1806, American explorers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark returned to St. Louis, Missouri after a two-year expedition, marking the completion of the first recorded overland journey from the Mississippi River to the Pacific Coast and back. On September 24, 1996, the best-selling author Stephen King releases two new novels at once, Desperation and The Regulation. Regulators. And finally, on September 25th, 1957, Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas is integrated. Nine African American students, under the escort of the Army's 101st Airborne Division, which were federal, federalized by President Eisenhower, are led into an all white school and miss a racial mob of bystanders. That's a look at This Week in History. Now back to Fiona and Mackenzie. Well, wow, thank you, Carolyn, for your knowledgeable historical insight. <laughs> Tomorrow, we will just be dismissed at 11, and lunch will not be served. For lunch on Monday, we will be having hot Sicilian sandwich, peas, mandarin oranges, and fat-free milk. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a great day, and don't forget, go big or go home.